it's hard to start a video. YouTube recently posted the results of some research they did into the exact ways that people introduce their vlogs, and they found that the most common phrase used was, hey guys. Hey guys, 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 hey guys. If people aren't saying hey guys, it's what's up everyone, hey everyone, hello everyone, hi everyone, hi guys, what's going on, what is up, or any number of other ultra chill salutations. Hello there. YouTube actually broke the data down by category, and my favorite statistic was that the number one greeting for tech vloggers is apparently ladies and gentlemen, which was by far the most formal thing anywhere in the data they shared. So what do we learn from all this? Well, not much actually. People say hey guys a lot, but I think we already knew that. It brings up a deeper question though. It's a question I've been thinking about since starting this channel about a year and a half ago, because I had to ask it myself on my very first video. Is it better to have a personal intro or not? The theory is that on YouTube, you want your videos to be more personal. You don't want to come across like some celebrity TV show host, all stiff and artificial. You want it to be friendly and casual and natural. You don't want there to be distance between you and your audience. You want it to feel like you're just hanging out with the squad. But there's something a little twisted in that greeting. It's always felt weird to me because my brain instinctively thinks that there are two people in the video watching interaction. There's me, the viewer, and then there's the creator that I'm watching. It's just me and them hanging out. But then they go and say, hey guys, or what's up everybody, or hey everyone, and they remind me that it's not just me and them. They're greeting their viewers, plural. They're not speaking to me, they're speaking to a giant anonymous mob. It's kind of like the feeling of going to a concert and thinking your favorite singer is looking right at you, but then you remember that they've got light shining in their eyes and they don't see you at all. They're just performing to the darkness for thousands of people they can't see. Because they're greeting a plural audience, even though you're probably alone as you watch them, it actually reinforces the lack of a personal relationship. It's not, hey you, it's, hey everyone. So if you really want to give a personal greeting in your videos, I'd actually recommend that you stop repeating those same plural audience oriented phrases that everyone uses and instead focus on speaking specifically to one viewer. Don't address your audience collectively as everyone or you guys, but instead refer to them individually. Speak as if it's just you and me together, not you, me, and your entire subscriber base. One creator who does a great job of this, for example, is food photographer Joni Simon of The Bite Shot. She always starts her videos with, what's shaking, bacon? 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 And it makes me feel, you know, a little special. It's like she's talking directly to me. I'm bacon. It's a little thing, but it can make a big impact on the perceived relationship between you as a creator and your individual audience members. Now, if you've seen any of my videos before, you might be wondering about the raging hypocrisy of me advising you to start your videos with an individual personal greeting, because I totally don't do that at all. In fact, of the 70 or so videos that I've posted previously, I don't think any of them start with any kind of personal greeting. Why is that? Well, it's because I don't want to waste your time, ever. If I'm going to tell you a story, let's get right to the story. If I'm going to give you information, let's get right to the information. If I'm going to make you feel something, let's jump to the feelings immediately. It's a habit I carried over from when I used to do a lot of conference talks. A typical conference talk starts with the speaker thanking the organizers, then talking a bit about how he was invited, then talking about his history and credentials, and then maybe a third of the way into the talk, he actually starts saying something interesting. And maybe it's because I'm easily distracted or my brain moves too fast or something, but that stuff always killed me. I could couldn't stand it. So when I started doing a lot of public speaking, I stopped doing intros. I would just jump right into the story. I didn't want to give people a chance to get bored the way I always got bored. I mean, can you imagine if the greatest communicators in history stopped to do those greetings and intros before they dropped oratorical bombs on the world? They don't do that. They just get right into the stuff. So when I started doing videos, I took basically the same approach. Skip the chit chat and get right into the stuff. And I'm not the only one who feels this way. I recently saw this tweet from Hayden Hillier Smith saying he always instantly skips the first 10 seconds of any YouTube video. Many others have had similar comments. The main reason people argue for including greetings in their videos is that it sounds more personal, but sometimes the best way to build a relationship with someone is to actually deliver the thing they're looking for, not to try to force the illusion of a social relationship where none actually exists. Besides, we don't need arbitrary greetings to have a relationship, right? I mean, I feel like this thing between us is working out pretty well. I know you've been watching my videos for a while. I've been seeing you in the comments. We don't need all that greeting stuff, right? I feel like we can just move past that and get to the next level. 
Anyway, I don't actually think you have to get rid of your greetings entirely. Having a familiar catchphrase can really help you establish yourself with your audience. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Hey guys, Chris Fix here. But I encourage you to at least consider trying to do some videos where you immediately get into your content without any greetings or intro fluff. Just experiment with it and see how it goes. And if you find it works better for you to do a greeting in your videos, that's fine. But at least think about doing an individualized greeting addressed to a specific viewer rather than reinforcing the fact that your viewer is just one member of a huge faceless mob that you're generically addressing with, hey guys, or what's up everyone. You might be surprised what a difference it can make. Crap, how do I end this video?